today we are delving into the battle between two fundamental chassis designs. Monocoque and ladder frame. A chassis is the framework or structure of a vehicle that supports and holds all the essential components together. It serves as the foundation for the vehicle and plays a crucial role in determining its overall structure, strength, and performance ensuring stability and safety during operation. The chassis design influences the vehicle's handling, stability, and overall performance. The most popular chassis designs are monocoque and ladder frame. A monocoque chassis is like the exoskeleton of a car, where the body itself provides structural support. On the other hand, a ladder frame is a traditional separate frame structure, where the body is mounted onto a rigid frame. Each design has its own strengths and weaknesses. Let's compare these two in each and every aspect. Ladder frame chassis consists of two parallel longitudinal rails, connected by cross members, forming a ladder-like structure. The body is mounted onto this rigid frame, and the frame supports the vehicle components. The engine is usually mounted at the front of the vehicle, between the longitudinal rails of the ladder frame. In some designs, the engine may be positioned longitudinally or transversely depending on the vehicle type. The transmission is mounted adjacent to engine, forming the powertrain assembly. The transmission is typically aligned with the engine, to maintain a direct power transfer. Front and rear axles are mounted to the frame, with suspension components connecting them to the chassis. Front suspension components, such as control arms, coil springs or torsion bars, and shock absorbers, connect to the front part of the ladder frame. Rear suspension components which may include leaf spring or coil spring and shock absorber connect to the rear part of the ladder frame. In rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, the differential, which is part of the drivetrain, is often located at the rear of the ladder frame and it is responsible for distributing power to the wheels. The ladder frame is often preferred for off-roading adventures. With its robust construction and separate frame rails, the ladder frame offers unparalleled durability and strength. It can withstand the rigors of off-road driving, absorbing shocks and impacts without compromising structural integrity. While the monocoque chassis may not be the best fit, the monocoque's lower ground clearance and limited articulation can hinder its ability to traverse uneven terrain and obstacles. On the other hand, monocoque chassis is used in most standard passenger cars, including sedans, sports cars and luxury cars. Monocoque chassis is often constructed using sheet metal forming techniques. Large sheets of lightweight, high strength materials, like aluminum or composite materials are used. The sheets undergo stamping and eye casting processes to achieve the desired shapes and contours. These processes help in forming intricate structural components of the chassis, including panels, pillars, beams, and supports. The body panels themselves contribute significantly to the chassis's structural strength. Components like the floor pan, roof, and side panels are integrated to form a single cohesive unit. The monocoque chassis undergoes finishing processes such as painting or coating, for protection against corrosion and to enhance the overall aesthetics. The engine is typically positioned at the front of the vehicle, and specific mounting points are designed to accommodate the engine. In front-wheel drive vehicles, the transmission is often combined with the front axle into a transaxle. This unit is integrated into the monocoque structure, usually in the lower front portion of the vehicle. In rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive configurations, the transmission may be located toward the rear of the vehicle, close to the rear axle. Components like struts, control arms, and sway bars for the front suspension are attached to designated mounting points on the monocoque chassis. Similar to the front suspension, rear suspension components are mounted to specific points on the monocoque chassis. Monocoque chassis often incorporate crumple zones at the front and rear of the vehicle. These zones are engineered to deform in a way that absorbs energy during a collision, helping to protect the occupants by reducing the abruptness of the deceleration. 
It's worth noting that the Range Rover's Defender switches to a monocoque design brings various advantages. It also sparked discussions among enthusiasts who appreciated the traditional ruggedness of the previous Defender's body on frame construction. Land Rover has aimed to balance the vehicle's heritage with the demands of the modern market through the new monocoque design. And finally, if you prioritize on-road performance, fuel efficiency, and crash safety, a monocoque chassis is a suitable choice. If you require durability, off-road capability, or customization for specific applications, a ladder frame chassis may be more fitting. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you.